and share my screen again. Well, so. Here on that evening, as well as to the rest of the world, she's here tonight to perform one of Kobe and Vanessa's favorite musical numbers, the immortal Moonlight Sonata by Beethoven. Please welcome Alicia Keys. Wow. Okay, Mark. Well, let me close this and let's talk about it. Okay, what do you think? How was it? Yeah, Moonlight Sonata. Yes, this song. Mm, yes, it's, um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I think, um, maybe, um, yeah, famous song. Yeah, it's just, uh, contains, um, melody. No, I think a melody of it. Yeah, it was, a. Uh, Yes, yeah, sad. Um, of course, uh, Beethoven is is a uh, yes like person. He is um, yeah, belong 
yeah, to a it's like a mm -hmm. um <clears throat> period period. Yeah, it's like a um mm -hmm. not sure, but in I think he is uh, belong to a um, period. I think it's about impressionist uh, period. I think uh, <laughs> yeah, it, this song if uh, it is uh yeah if the girls uh, this girl was me. I think uh, maybe this song uh, was hard with me, but uh yeah, it's it's lovely. Um, in fact, in fact, uh, this is relaxing. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, you think it's relaxed? It's, yeah, it's really relaxing. Of course, it's really relaxing music. So, uh, of course, I wanted to start a really relaxing thing. So I tried to mm. choose the moonlight. Moonlight is really different, of course. But uh, you know, the reason that I uh, chose this music or sonata was that you said you were interested in music so mm. actually i would rather yeah choose this one and i think that is really easy because we are going to talk about it i want to ask you a few questions about it okay mm. uh, as you mentioned you were interested in music of course but mm. tell me and of course you some composer like Beethoven, mozart or chopin and you know uh, you know all these composers if you want to write them from the best, for example, you know, which one is the first level you think for you, of course? First level. Um, the first step, yeah. Uh, oh, I'm. Oh, my first, my level, or not? Oh. Okay, you ask again. I'm not sure what level. Yeah. Yeah, of course, no, the first step, I want to say, for example, if you want to make them in order, for example, from the first one to the last one, which one is the best composer, you think? Oh, I think the best, maybe, yeah, Mozart. Yes. Mozart, he, yeah, yeah, he has, of course, uh, of, course mm -hmm. of course, yeah, he has a lot of, uh, yeah, miracle song, oh, mir miraculous song, yes, of course, yeah. He sounds, uh, it, yeah, it's uh, just uh, basically easy, yeah, but uh, yeah, it contains um, yeah, a lot of emotions, but he, he he's, yeah. Uh, yeah, like a funny uh, person, mm -hmm. yes, he makes sound, but uh, yeah, he's uh, funny, he has a melody, yeah, easy melody, mm -hmm. so yes, he's the best, yeah, and the second one, yeah. <clears throat> of course, so second do one. Like, do you like, do you like uh, his music? Or are you a fan of his music? So there are different. So do you like only, you know, I like, for example, uh, the music of Mozart. So, but you think, no, I'm a big fan. Which one? Oh, I like, but no, not not big fan or fan. I just like interest mm -hmm. in, yes. Yeah. Okay. And have you ever, you know, as you know, there is a film named Mozart. It's about uh, actually the life of Mozart. So have you ever watched it? Yeah, but uh, I'm not sure about it. Yeah, I, I have never watched it before. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think, um, yeah, I think there's some, yeah, video about Mozart. Yeah, he, he, there's a combat. No, no, it's just a solo. Yeah, between Mozart and uh, Salieri. Yeah, it's like a, yeah. a man who wants to, to uh, yeah, who wants to uh, see. Uh, he wants to see who is the best. He just felt that he's the best, not Mozart. So yes, he uh, mm -hmm. composed. He composed some some pieces, uh, piano pieces. But uh, yeah, of course, yes, mm -hmm. it was it was a humiliation because uh, mm -hmm. yeah, when Mozart Mozart come in, comes in. Yes, he he just uh, composed um piece that uh, I think is better than than the original of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. Really. But I think mm -hmm. Mozart. Uh, of course, I'm. We still uh, now. I think uh, we still don't know uh, what causes his death. Um, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, he dead by an yeah. He he was dead by an um uh, yeah. It's like a disease. Um, he he yeah. What well, was as assassinated assassinated yeah. uh, i'm not sure assassinated yeah. uh, okay. well, it wasn't no it wasn't it wasn't because of an accident here yeah, of course uh it is a really really good uh, interesting story so because of this i said that you know there was a there was a movie named Mozart that it's about his life 
So yeah. what happened uh, about uh, the musical life and of course uh, experiences and about his death. And, uh, you know, of course, uh, he didn't have a good and I don't know, maybe I can say, I think mm. memorable death. It was really bad, mm. I think, for Mazar, yeah. that really good composer. But, but, you know, the movie is really interesting. And I think, of course, clever movie. And yeah. of course, not bad to watch it. Okay, have you ever been uh, to a concert? Mm, a concert. Know, yeah, yeah. Have you ever been? Nope. Sad. Sadly, no. I have never been there. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So, oh. okay. If you want to, if you want to go to the concert to, I don't know, see uh, and watch a performance, mm. whose concert do you prefer to go? Concert. Um, concert. Classical concert, not yeah, not dancing concert. I had that. Your, of course, your favorites, your favorites are dead, so you can't go. <laughs> so you need to pick with a new one, of course. So if you're going to go to a concert, his concert would you prefer to go? Mm, classical concert, yes. Ah, classical. Okay, very good. And uh, have you ever heard? A music that you, I don't know, you thought in your mind that I would definitely play it, for example, oh. with piano, okay? You try to play it. Have you ever heard? You say, oh, that's stunning and I need to play it. Oh, one. Uh, we interested in that, in that uh, piece. That piece, oh. Uh, mm, oh, my mind, uh, yeah, automatically played. Oh, I think um, maybe um, just and send or yes, at two no five. Oh, it's a song. Oh, it's a piece, no song shit. Uh, of a list, yeah, friend list, and of course, yeah, one song that I, I really like. I think it's Sonata um, No Sixteen. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, piano Sonata No Sixteen. Um, first movement. Yeah, it's by Mozart. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, of course, next songs, mm, Togata, Togata, I think Togata, No Seven, I think, yeah, uh, <clears throat> yeah, was composed by a uh, woman, yes, and uh, yes. yeah, and um, and yes, uh, one song that I really interested in, shit, I forget mm -hmm. it, um, uh, yeah, of course, Mulai Sunada, but not that uh, Mulai Sunada, that that you show me, yeah, it's it's like a um, version, but harder, yes. Yeah, of course, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, there are different uh, versions of, yeah, yeah, of course, there are different versions of Nocturne and of course another. So mm -hmm. we watch one of them together. So of course there are different versions and different people who play all around the world because they're really famous, no, they're really popular because famous is different from popular when something is famous you may not like it but mm. when something is popular you like it of course it's famous and you like it okay so it's different so we have different types and of course a lot of people who are interested in this type of music and of course they tw uh, try to play and uh well tell me i want to ask you another question of course there are a lot of people all around the world who are interested in something who like something and the people all around the world who i don't know were crazy about something so what's the difference between someone who is a fan and someone who likes something can you explain it please oh a fan or like it um yeah, do you know that I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not a fan, I just like, and yes. Yeah, fan. of course, I'm not talking about you, about all the people, of course, there are people. Mm. <clears throat> yes, of course, Um, maybe fan, yes, fan, I think maybe they listen to it, Uh, yeah, in a, in a very <laughs> long time, or a lot of time, yeah, and um, of course, me, I listen, but uh, yeah, not. Not too um, frequently. Yes, it's just sometimes. Um, maybe uh, often. Not uh, too. Not not too much. Yes. 
And uh, music, yes, just uh, like um, tones. Yeah, it's uh, makes people, uh, makes people, yes, have, um, yeah, just um, increase their enthusiastic. Of course, mm-hmm. uh, makes makes their life uh, better, makes their life better. Of course, um, not, but uh, I think uh, what I think listen to music maybe not good much. Yes, because uh, because uh, yeah, there's some study, yeah, research from some scientists that uh, listen to music. Uh, Maybe causes a uh, depression. Yes, of course. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, very good. You know, you said the word enthusiastic, but enthusiastic is an adjective, and the, when you were talking, you had to use the noun here. So mm. enthusiasm. So oh. you right, enthusiasm. Yeah, of course. And so sometimes you need to use the noun. So noun is different, of course. Enthusiastic is adjective. So enthusiasm is the noun that you had to use okay oh. well well okay let's talk about of course uh, we're going to br- uh, briefly talk about present perfect and of course you know i asked some questions in present perfect of course you know this grammar so uh, let me i don't know review and remind you some details and then of course we keep going with speaking section okay let me share my screen well, uh, again, change the screen to, okay, well, so let me put this here, well, okay, so as you know, yeah, what the <laughs> well, heck? let's talk about present perfect, yeah. <laughs> okay, so as you know, we use present uh, perfect for some reason, the first one for past recent events so sometimes we don't know and don't want to say when or with time expressing including now okay, so we use present perfect for recent events when we don't want to say or we don't know when and what time and you know the formula of course have and has or the signs of course and the the part of formula to make present perfect. So she actually, she has had an accident. So we have subject plus have or has related to the subject. And of course we have past participle of verb. Okay, I have passed, you have watched. So have and has depends on the subject that you are using. And of course, we have just already yet or recently. So we have just already yet. This, they are signs for present perfect. As you can see, we use yet for negative and interrogative or question. Have you finished yet? Have you finished it? No, I've not finished yet. So no, I've not finished yet. So if you want to make a negative or question or interrogative, you can use yet at the end of your question and of course sentence. So yet at the end. Have you finished yet? And say, no, I've not finished yet. Or sometimes you finish something before the time that I expect. You say, have you have you finished finished it yet? You say, Oh, I've already finished. Yeah, of course, I've already. I finished it before you expected. So we use already beef actually between have and has and past participle. I have already finished. Of course, to make question, you know, we put have and has at the beginning of sentence. That is really normal. And to make negative, we add not to have and has. So we make any changes on have and has to make interrogative or negative form. Well, of course, you know, we use never and ever. Never for negative. Of course, negative makes our sentence negative, but we don't use not before never. I've never watched it. Of course, you can use it. You know this part very good. And sometimes we can make question or interrogative using ever. Have you ever? It means did you do it until now? You know, so have you ever seen? Have you ever played? So we can use ever after you that is subject and before past participle to make 
question or interrogative, okay? And of course, normally we don't mention the exact time in present perfect. For example, yesterday we have exact time, so we don't mention. Only we can talk about the period of time. For example, I have lived here for 10 years for a period of time or I have lived here since 10 years ago. And so I have the beginning and start point. So since and for are the other two signs that we can uh, use for present perfect to talk about time. Well, let me show you something else. Uh, OK, just let me close this and share another one. OK, so. Well, OK, so. As you can see, we have different forms, affirmative, negative, and interrogative. Affirmative is subject plus have or has past participle. Negative, have and has again plus not plus past participle. And interrogative, we need to replace subject and have or has. So have and has plus subject plus past participle. And of course, the usage of present perfect things you have done in your life, okay, and it doesn't matter when and what time, just in the past. Number of times you have done something, so I have done something different time. So number of times, I have watched this movie many times. So number of times. And recently completed action, which are important. For example, I've already lost my job. OK, of course, something that happened recently completed, but actually it affects your life now. So I will already lost my job and situation that started in the past and are still true. I've known James for four or five, four, as I told you, you know, a situation that started in the past and still true. So we know each other and present results, of course, that is really important. John has just missed the bus. So, you know, I've just, for example, checked my email. So present result. So he will be late. John has just been. So there is a result here. He will be late because he missed the bus and unfinished action or situation. I have lived here since I've believed, of course, you know, there is a mistake here. So I have lived here since, for example, 2004. So I have lived unfinished. I still live here. OK, this is about uh, present perfect. And as you can see, we have some adverbs just already yet for since never ever just. As you can see, let me put this. As you can see, we use just between have and has and past participle. I've just, she's just. Again, we have already, of course, we have the same use of already as well. So we put already between have and has and again past participle. Yet, as I told you, to make interrogative and negative form at the end of your sentence. And of course, we have since and for to make a period, of course, for 10 years, duration of time, period of time. And since when I have a start point and it doesn't matter what's the end, for example, since 10 years ago, OK? And never, of course, to make negative, but we need to pay attention. We don't use not and never together. And ever, of course, can be used to make interrogative or question. OK, any questions about this part? Hmm. Um, I think no. Yeah. Of course, no, you know this grammar. So let me close this and keep going with speaking section. Of course, your favorite part. So let me. Well, fans and super fans. Oh, OK, it's your turn. <laughs> OK, let me put this, uh, make it a little smaller. Well, OK. I want you to read this, you know, there are three interviews with some people. I, yeah, 
three or yeah, two interviews. OK, I want you to read this two interviews and answer the questions. OK, would you read it, please? OK, thank you. I fans and super fans. Idiot. Uh, imagine uh, imagine a concert or game without fans. Oh, that's great. Uh, a movie theater with empty seats, a video game without players, Facebook without followers. Fans are important, but uh, without their money and support, pop stars, sports team, movie studios, and uh, games companies couldn't exist. Most fans spend some money supporting their favorite group team. Uh, group or team. Uh, some fans spend a lot of money. Well, Fifteen percent of fans spend sixty-five, sixty-five uh, percent of all the money spent on what's this? Merchandise and tickets. These are super fans. These are the super fans. Okay. How long have you been a fan? Uh, we've been fans for. About five years. Oh, Angie and Cody, H30, F4D, Minecraft super fans. Um, have you ever met other fans or, or been to an event? Yes, we've been to to two games convention conventions. We were at one last year. Tell us about the photo. Where are you? At the last convention. We already we've already made costumes for the next one. Have you spent money on recently? I've just spent all my allowance on some coin packs which I bought online. Okay, Peter H12, Manchester United super fan. Okay, how long have you been a fan? I've been a fan since I was three. Oh, uh, have you ever met other fans or uh, been to an event? Yes, I'm in mean, a uh, fan club. Basie uh, in New York City. We've watched some great games together. We recently traveled to England to watch United play live against Gen Z. Uh, tell us about the photo. Where are you? In my room, my brother decorated it in the uh, team colors for me. What have you spent money on recently? I've just ordered a new Manchester United shirt, but it hasn't arrived yet. It cost a dollar. Okay. Okay. Very good. So, let me ask you a question. Of course. Uh, first of all, we have merchandise. Merchandise means goods or products. You know, for example, you know, they they spend a lot of money on merchandise and tickets. For example, I don't know some goods, customs, something that you uh, have with yourself when you want to go and to go to stadium and watch. For example. I don't know, a match. So merchandise means goods or products. Okay. And now tell me, uh, who has been a fan the longest? Angie, Curtis, or Peter? Oh. Whoa, can, can you say again, Sid? Um, oh. Yeah, of course, you can say again. Oh, how long have you been a fan? Oh, Angie and Curtis. Um, yes, of course, five years. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay, so who is? Which one? Angie, you think? No, both of them. They say both, both of them. them. Okay, okay. And uh, who has spent the most money and what did you spend it on? Oh, what's... Oh. Spend the most money. What did they? Oh, I think um, most money. Yes, of course. These couple, Angie and Curtis, these Minecraft super fans. Mm -hmm. I think yes, spend most money for yeah. I mm -hmm. think the total. Mm -hmm. I think is a uh, uh, four hundred and fifteen dollars. Shit, what they they just. Mm -hmm. They just wait, waste yeah. money. <laughs> <laughs> you think so? But they are they are super fans. So. <laughs> And now, let me ask you, what's the difference between fan and super fan? Oh, super fan. Yes, they, uh, yeah, they, they will, um, yeah, force their parents to, uh, give, to uh, give them money and, yeah, buy things that they are really, 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 I think, yes, of course, really like and 
yes, terrible like shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, Angie Curtis Ben Ben yes. Uh, what coin packs? Mm-hmm. Yeah, naughty kids. Mm-hmm. Okay, and of course, uh, so uh, we have some uh, something here. It's not bad to know. Uh, games conventions. Okay, you know what does it mean? Games conventions. Conventions. Oh. Yeah, of course. You know, game. You know, games convention means a gathering. You know, normally. Uh, for example, fans, okay, fans or super fans uh, get together. They have a gathering, get together in one place to actually appreciate their favorite games. For example, Ooh. a lot of fans in one place to appreciate and, of course, to uh, encourage their favorite team. This oh. is a game convention. Get it? Yes, I'm. Um, uh- yeah, also I'm a fan of a yeah, game, okay, but I think you don't know that. Yeah, what is this? Okay, tell me, explain. Yeah, you're a fan? Okay, um, but, tell um, me, yeah. It's a- yeah, it just, uh, yeah, I think it was happened. Yeah, just a very, a very short time, yes, because my mother deleted it. So, yes, of course, fans, yeah, alert to, red alert to, oh, you really revenge. Yes, it was a very... Yeah, it was uh, very long. I think you don't know. It's a very old game. Um, it's, I think, yeah, of course, I don't know. I don't have a lot of information about uh, video games, but you know, hmm. you can tell. You it just have. I'm a little old for video games. Of course, no. You you just I'm know you just know about writer. I'm not interested. <laughs> in that. No, of course, of course, no. I'm not too old to know about video games, of course. Uh, I have my favorites, but, you know, I don't know yours, of course, but you're a fan, a super fan. Okay, so what does it mean when you say, I am a super fan? What should I do to be a super fan? No, no, you shouldn't do that. I think, yes, super fans, very, yeah, very, (gasps) very, yes, I don't know how to say it. Yes, super fans. Yes, I know what I, you want to say. I know what you want to say. I know that word. <laughs> yeah, uh, I <laughs> think. Say, uh, I think they. Yes, yeah, super fans. Uh, I think they're gonna. They're gonna spend a lot of money on shitty things. Yes, and mm-hmm. uh, it 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 is the waste waste of money. Yeah, uh, waste of money. Yeah, playing on shitty games and uh, yes, um, mm-hmm. Minecraft. Oh, square things. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, wow, Manchester United. Oh, football. No, I had football. Um, yes, yeah, super fans. No, no, super fans. Never, never. Um, super fans. Yes, which means that they are very. Uh, they they are really like they are. Uh, yeah, their favorite mm-hmm. things. And yes, they are. Uh, yes, in a. Any time they could, uh, they could spend the money, yeah, doing things, mm-hmm. uh, doing things that they like. And yes, um, they also, of course, um, seem, uh, yes, consider their favorite things as um, uh, admirable things. Yes. Well, mm-hmm. of course, uh, of course. Uh, mm. mm-hmm. oh, ah, thank it. you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, let's take a look at this. Uh, actually part part two there are some examples from the interview and let's uh, answer the questions okay the first one i've been a fan since i was there i oh, know i'm sorry is it three i'm sorry i couldn't see it right yeah, three yeah <laughs> yeah it's three. let me make it a little bigger so i can yeah it's better now okay we've been fans for about five years and we've already made costumes I've just spent all my allowance and it hasn't arrived yet. Okay, which sentence says when something is started? When something is started? Which one? A, B, C, D, or E? Mm, okay, I, okay, number one. I think, yes, uh, started. Uh, since something started. Oh, mm. ah, shit. Uh, I think started. Oh, started. Oh, uh, I think maybe. Um, oh my gosh, this is a thing for this. Um, number one, I think. Um, of course, <clears throat> something started. I think. Um, started. Oh my gosh, I. 
I the think first um, one. Do you remember the first, the first and the start of something? Do you remember the use of two signs of present perfect? Oh. Since and for. So the first and the start. Yeah. Yes, so yes. Oh, A, B. Yeah, A. I've been a fan since I was three. So I started being a fan when I was three. This is a start of something. So oh. since can be a really, really good sign to indicate when something started since. Okay, two. Which sentence describes something that finished a short time ago, recently? Finished. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Just only A. Okay. Number one is A. Okay. Number one is A, of course. Yeah. Mm. Let me create a picture here. And number two, try to guess. Uh, number two, of course. Mm. Uh, oh, two. Number two. Uh, B is number two. Um, yes, finish a uh, short time ago. Yeah. Oh, you know, a short time, for example, a short time ago, I say, for example, I've just, I've just finished my work. So I've just finished. It means, you know, a short time ago, I've just checked my email. So which, which one can indicate that you finished something a short time ago? Oh. Which one? Oh, number two. Uh, number two, D, yeah. Excellent. That's it. D because of just. OK. And yeah. number three, which sentence describes something that we expect will happen soon? Oh, OK. Number three, E. <clears throat> Excellent. Because of yet soon. It, it hasn't arrived yet. Excellent. So very good. Well, OK, let's talk about something that you have started doing. Uh, recently, what is you know something that you've started doing recently? Oh, I you think still do it. I think yes, uh, recently, recently, yeah. I think I have a uh, drive on a car recently. Yes, of course. Ah, driven? Yeah, really? <laughs> yeah, the first experience. I just joking, nothing. I just uh, yeah. Not really? Sit, sit you were the joking. Hook. Yeah, just sit on the, uh, the the driver's chair. Yes, Anna. Yeah, just um, touch the steering wheel. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. That's okay. It's yeah, okay. And, uh, so. Yeah, I just uh, try to um, yes, drive not not drive car. It's just uh, of course started uh, a car. Yeah, oper operate a car and yet yeah, just yeah. Uh, break something and break. Break so to see, yeah. and I don't know what happen if we break. Yeah. yeah. And, and yes, uh, when we um, yeah, make it uh, make it go. Yeah, it will uh, yeah have a noise. It's it's like a dog is a uh, yeah is um mm -hmm. angry. Yes. Uh, uh, uh buffalo. Yes. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay, and of course you you started. I think you've started uh, no, just, stargazing. No, just stargazing joking. because of your yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course, because of your gift, your uh, mm. telescope that your father bought for you, you have started stargazing, watching stars. Okay, well, couple of the questions and the are you a super fan? Okay, let's make some uh, sentences in present perfect using the words below here. Decorate, okay. follow, go, join, read, spend, search, and watch. You need to make some examples of first, including these words in present mm. perfect. Let's get started. Oh, five. Oh, no. Okay, number five. Um, uh, I. Oh, complete questions. Are you super fan? Uh, questionnaire. Are we doing? Okay, decorate. Well. Oh. Uh, complete questions. Uh, let me. Uh, yeah. 
Oh, okay. Oh, oh myself. Uh, can I make my own ideas? Of course, huh? definitely. Oh, yes. yeah. I have already decorated my house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm already yeah. decorated. I'm already, you know, see, I'm already or I have already. I've already, yeah, it's like uh, I've right. already, yeah, first I've already decorated. Okay, follow. Oh, follow. I don't have anything to follow, so <clears throat> follow. Oh, man. Oh, I think, yeah, I have, uh, yeah, I have just a follow, follow a uh, football match. Before. Yeah. I've yeah. just followed, you know, what is it? I've just followed, so you did it. A short time ago, yeah. Know, very short time, yeah. Okay, good. Go. Uh, I've yeah, I've gone to uh, I have gone to uh, yeah, Tao Convenzo. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, four five years ago. Yeah. Okay. Four. Okay. Yeah. Four five years ago. Ago and four mm. can't come together. When we use ago, we should use since, since five years ago, because we have a start. So yeah. since five years ago, but we say four or five years, four, this is a period of time. So ago, no. Okay, good. Join. Join. Oh, what? Uh, I'm not join any. You've just joined English class. You've joined, you've oh. just joined. Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah, yeah, of course, you just <laughs> join English class, of course. <laughs> read. Read, yeah. Mm, I, uh, yeah, I have written, I read a science book since uh, 11 years ago. Yeah, mm -hmm. Excellent. Spend. Spend. Uh, I have, yeah, I have mm, already spent, oh, no, wait, I, yeah, I have spent, um, I've spent playing games uh, six or five years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm. very good. So you have spent, yeah, in search. Yeah. Oh, search. I, uh, I have, I have searched uh, Google. Uh, I've just searched Google for ten years ago. Four ten years oh, ago. Oh, 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 things. <laughs> yeah. yeah, of course, for ten years. Okay, good. And the last one, watch. Um, watch. Uh, I have, I've watched. Uh, uh, wait, I have just uh, watched uh, YouTube Kid. Yeah. Ah, what did you watch on YouTube? Okay. <laughs> good. Okay, very good. Okay, I don't want to do this part because I know you're not interested in this part, this section, fan club, or I don't know. Okay, <laughs> okay have you ever been okay, to a fan club or yeah, a part of the fan club? No, of course not. Okay, well, oh. let's keep going. That's really important. Of course, we, went, uh, we talked about teamwork and working with, I don't know, uh, people is really good. Of course, you talked about this part, cooperation. Cooperation is really good, yeah or no? Uh, depends on me, I'm not sure. Maybe you're corporate, good. Yeah, we want to cooperate someone when we want to make something bigger. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, I want to make it uh, more famous in famous, not famous. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm an infamous girl. Oh, uh, and uh, of course, but um, with me, I'm not sure. Uh, I think I had cooperation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course, very good. Okay, uh, let's listen to this part. Uh, there's a conversation between Kelly and her friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what is Kelly already done? Okay. Let me play this one. Listen carefully. If you want, you can make notes. Then I will ask you questions related to the listening. So, well, let me. Okay, one eleven. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Unit 4, page 43, exercises 3 and 4. Hi, everyone. Are we all here? Owen, Tom, Ella? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, that's great. Thanks for coming. So, what do you think of my idea for a basketball marathon? We all think it's great, Kylie. We were just talking about it. Good. I've already got permission from the principal. He's really happy about it. He says that he can get some of the teachers to help. That's brilliant. Yeah. He says that Saturdays are best and we've got a date. When's that, Kylie? The 15th of March. Is that OK with you guys? Sure. Yes, I think so. It's fine with me, Kylie. OK. So I need to find out if the school gym is free on the 15th of March and then book it. Great. So what do we need to do next? Well, what do you think, Tom? You organised that marathon last year, I remember. Yes, that's right. The first thing we need to do is to contact some local businesses. We need sponsors. I could do that if you like. I can look up the email addresses from last year. That sounds good to me, Tom. Is that OK with everyone? Great. Yes. Tell us if you need any help, OK? It's a big job. What else? After that, we need to make some posters and advertise the event, I suppose. Right. Thanks. Does anyone want to do that? I don't mind making a poster. We can make some copies and put them up around the school. Great. Thanks, Owen. Does anyone else want to help with that? I'll help. I could make the copies. Thanks, Ella. What else do we need to do? We need to organise the teams for the marathon. We probably need 10 or 12 teams, I think. But each class can organise their own team. Let's post something on Facebook. Yes, good idea. Who can do that? I can do that. Thanks, Le. We can think about the rest later. We've got plenty to do now. Is that OK with everyone? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. This is great. I'm really looking forward to it already. Well, OK, tell me. What has Kai already done? Kai already done. Yeah, I think. <clears throat> oh shit! Uh, oh, okay. I'm uh, gonna organize a club. Yeah. Oh, I just um. Yeah, just um. I just uh, <clears throat> care about the yeah listening number four. Yeah, it's like a uh, uh, much people. Yeah, to um. Yeah, okay. One so Okay, so you can match now. So you can match the people and the oh. phrases. Yeah, the phrases A, B, C. Can you? Oh, I have already matched it. Oh. Yeah, uh, really? Okay, tell me. Number one, Kylie. Yeah. Yes, uh, Kylie. Yeah, very good for, um, for doing things, I know. Um, yeah, good at... Yeah, good at cooperating in, in yes, of course. This liar, uh, she uh, oh, I think uh, she wants to um, of course, book the school gym. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, book the school gym, Tom. Yeah, Tom. Oh, uh, Tom. I think he he wants to um, I think do this job. Uh, let me see. Oh, number A. Oh, hey, not number, shit. Uh, find sponsor. Yeah, contact local business. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Contact local business and, okay, this, the third one. Yeah, Owen. Um, yeah. He wants to uh, make poster. Yeah, he don't want to uh, make the copy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, very good. And the last one, of course, Ella, that is... Oh, okay. Yes. Mm. Yeah, great. Very good. Okay, good job. Excellent. Well, okay. Uh, tell me, uh, let's 
actually take a look at the speaking strategy. When you have a conversation in a group of people, make sure that everybody has a turn speaking. Of course, you know, it means that you shouldn't talk all the time. And of course, not allowing the other people to talk with is really bad. Listen to what people say that is really important. So actually something I act and react. You know, so you talk and then you wait and wait for the other people to talk. Give people time to talk. That is really important. Don't interrupt and wait until one person has finished speaking. So that is really important to make a good conversation. First, everyone should speak and you need to listen. You need to give time to people and of course, don't interrupt people. So that is really important. OK, now. Considering this strategy, tell me if you think Kaylee and her friends were all good at taking turns speaking and listening. Mm, I think, uh, yes, yes, I do. But uh, I think um, Kaylee, the, yeah, the most speaker, the most speaker. Yeah, she's um, really suitable for um, being, being, yes, being like a... Um, the yes the i think uh, the dictate oh no wait the uh, director yes yes um kylie has a very good speaking yes uh, as, mm -hmm. she's really good at speaking yes speaking skills so mm -hmm. yes at my class has the girl has uh has the same girl as kylie yes <clears throat> yeah oh yes yeah. she's also um uh, it's like uh yes um, and uh, come command command the class. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Got uh, it. Yes. Uh, she. She's um. She's um. Uh, yes. Uh, she's like um hardworking person. Yes. Yeah, she's very very good at um literature. And uh. Mm -hmm. And you don't like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and also. I yeah. I think um. Uh, she's uh, also interested in uh, all the subjects, but I think she, sh I think she is uh, interested in uh, literature most. Yes, and uh, mm -hmm. uh and uh, yes, um, I think uh, I, 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 yeah, I have uh, learned, I've learned uh, with her. Uh, yeah, being at at the same class, I think since uh, yeah, I think since um, shit, I, I forget it. I think yes, for a long time. Uh, and um, yes, yeah, she she's still the the best person. Person, yes, she's very mm. good and uh, very intelligent. Right. Yes, uh, yeah, uh, I think uh, we shouldn't we shouldn't uh misunderstand about her. Yes, yeah, With, uh, of course. Of course, she she only you know t talking about a really good students that can be your friend or your classmate, of yeah. course, and. Uh, uh, of course, why? Why misunderstanding? Of course. Yeah. And uh, well, OK. Let's do something together. Okay. <laughs> of course, we are going to uh, organize uh, mm. a celebration at school for a special day. What can you do? Tell me. Um, oh, <laughs> just uh, reading here uh, the yes, list. Uh, I think maybe uh, get into groups of four or uh, more and choose activity A or B. Uh, I think I'm not an organizer, so I don't like it. And don't like um, yeah, car parade. Uh, work together and plan how to organize the event. Get yeah, back to the main. Uh, make a list of jobs that need to be complete. Design who can do it. No, each. don't read. You don't need to read this part. You don't need to. Uh, okay, I asked you a question. Imagine that we are going to organize a celebration at school for oh. a special day, of course. What can you do? Oh, I'm not a leader, so I don't know how to answer this question. Yeah, yeah maybe I, oh. I have to call for mm -hmm. help. To call for help. Yeah, maybe the girl that I talked with. I, yeah, I've talked to you. I've talked to you before. I think yes, maybe she's yeah. suitable suitable for for celebration. Yeah, and a leader, and yes, of course, cooperation. 
uh, I'm still be at this. Yeah, you know? <laughs> you're not, of course. No, of course you're not. OK, well, uh, let's take a look at these key phrases. You know, when you're going to organize an event, of course, you can use some key phrases. There are different phrases, but we have some samples here. The first thing that we need to do, of course, you are going to talk to people to organize an event. So the first thing that we need to do is, OK, for example, is to talk to our parents, for example. After that, we need to, for example, I don't know, uh, have some guests, for example, after that. So this is the second. And what else do we need to do? What else? OK, we are going to know about the details, more details. OK, what else we need to do? And does anyone want to? OK, this is something like actually looking for a volunteer to do something and does anyone want to for example call to the manager and talk to him something like this and who can so you can use who can who can call parents i could for example i could call them and i don't mind i don't mind for example i don't know calling and talking to people so i don't mind there are uh, actually, the phrases that you can use to make an organi actually organization about an event. OK, so you can use the all the phrases, but there are some samples that you can use. Now, uh, I want you to do something. OK, just uh, I want you to try to uh, organize an event. Of course, it's your choice. Something that you want to organize. It can be, for example, a science gathering. Okay. And try to <laughs> try to. I don't want you to write. I don't want you to write. Just think of it for next session, not now. But just think of it. You're going to organize an event, and this event can be your mom's birthday. Yeah. It can be your mom's birthday, for example, something like you're going to celebrate it together to hold a party and try to find some rules. For example, OK, what should your dad do? Or for example, what should your maybe sister or you? OK, just try to divide roles into people. OK, for example, this one, this one, and then you will talk about it next session. OK? Oh, <laughs> oh what? <laughs> what is not interesting? Yeah, now I think now my friend. I'm, I think now I think yeah, my friend don't don't. Yes, um, it's like um, yeah, when I organize or something, I think yeah, I I call for help. Yeah, my friends like uh, we uh going to uh, prepare a presentation presentation so yeah so um everyone has to gather have to gather to uh yes to discuss and uh of course a uh, corporate but uh, yes of course in vietnam this is different yeah i think mm -hmm. my friends uh, in my class doesn't want to uh, um corporate and work uh work um mm -hmm. yes and work in a corporate and yes of uh, one of course don't want to discuss of course uh, just mm -hmm. yeah it's yeah. like me i think i like to i like to make a presentation then uh yeah of yeah. course just talking in front of class i don't like that uh, okay so is it something cultural say because you know say because it's something in vietnam so it's normal it's common so you should actually people don't want to cooperate mm, say it's true. something cultural yeah that's true yeah, it's interesting. So, OK, tell me, do you have any group activities in your class, for example, um, no. at school? No, yeah, really? Yeah, Vietnam. Uh, it's yeah. interesting. It's really interesting. Uh, so because so I can now I can understand what you say, because when you don't like you're not interested in this subject, the topics, of course, because yeah. you normally don't do it of course of course i got yeah. it okay so we can pass it okay <laughs> yeah well, maybe uh yeah you american yeah. i think it's, it's different uh, yeah 
Yeah, of course. Right. The country, you know, every country can be different from the others. Of course, we have different cultures and we do different activities, of course. So it's normal that, and I think this makes relations beautiful. You know, when mm. you're different, you can be good couples. You can complete each other because of differences. So that is really good to be different. And of course, sometimes I, for example, yeah, I can learn something from you. You know, yeah, you have different cultures. So you tell me something new that is really interesting to me. And that's really good. Okay, let me, do you have any questions, any issues about this section? The present perfect, this section, anything that you want to ask me? Uh, not present, present perfect, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'll talk about classical music, yeah. Uh, uh, of course, of course, we can talk about classical music. Okay, let me stop recording because we don't need it anymore. So, okay. Wow.